Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. There we go. We've gotten a hold of the ship. We're not letting it go out of our grasp. Are we breaking through? Yes, we are. Dude, this is a mess. This is going to start to lag really quick. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with some more awesome creations. Now, you're probably wondering, why is the ship back in the background again, Komodo? What are you going to do with this? Well, we have something that is lurking in the seas, and oh, it's heads down. Uh-oh. Might have broken it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. We're gonna have to reset that. I think I broke its head off. But anyways, we have a monster that is apparently a ship eater, and this is gonna be very, very cool to see. So we'll be checking out tons of cool creations here today. They'll all be linked down in the description. Now, if you wanna send anything to the channel, uh, join the Discord link down below. But yeah, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and help us out my channel. And if you have any suggestions, I want to get back into some building. I just don't really know quite what I want to build yet, whether it be single builds or maybe starting a new world. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you think. But let's do this. All right, I'm not even going to attempt to say what this thing is. It's the PTO Char... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, yes, this is made by 3Entropy1. Uh, but yeah, this is a, uh, the way it's been explained to me is it's just basically a monster that goes throughout the sea and it eats ships and supposedly you can somewhat grab onto them and it just rips them apart. So we're going to go ahead and spawn a new one uh, because the old one, I can't reach it right now. Uh, this thing does float. It uses actually quite a bit of mods. It's got the buoyancy mod here on the bottom. So, oh, this thing's a little lag. You know what? We ought to go eat the other one because I can't grab it. Uh, we might have to still get that one out of the way. It's pretty laggy right now. All right, let's go ahead and drop you. All right, you're floating. Let's go get your buddy over there, and then we're going to try to eat us a ship. All right, so here's the spider web for the big monster. This thing actually looks pretty insane. So it is WASD controlled. Uh, it does have a very unique look. Like, I like how the... It looks like the rib cage is basically popping out the top. It's got a pretty menacing mouth and face area, and you can hop down into here, Han. Huh? We're on its uh, insides right now, like the seat's actually, uh, I don't know which part of that. Maybe it's a stomach, maybe it's a heart. Oh, this thing's actually kind of gross looking. All right, let's hop into this real quick. So, WASD controlled. Uh, it cruises along pretty good, but you can speed it up with the six key. Like, I could picture being able to ram a ship. Like, that would be amazing. Uh, it does look like it's being driven off the, uh, I don't know what mod that is. I guess that's either the Take Flight mod. It's one of the mods with the, uh, the jet engines there. So it's got those. Oh, oh, fell out of it. Hold on. There we go. Uh, one and two makes the head go up and down. Three closes the mouth. And I think this is how you can grip, um, certain ships. So you'll grip them like that. And then you can turn them. Uh, and there's the, uh, it's got an automatic cannon on it, by the way. So, I think that's how it actually rips into the ship. Alright, so the USS Constitution looks like a pretty good target here. Let's go ahead and speed forward. Uh, I kind of wish we had the slow-mo effects like brick rigs. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Oh, let's go ahead and activate cannons in three, two... Actually, let's try to grab it first before we activate the cannons. I don't think we can grab it because that's a... It's a big ship. Uh, let's see, can we try to latch onto it? No, we need to eat into it here, so let's go. Uh, there we go. Just eat into it. We might need a smaller boat. I might have gotten a little bit on the, uh, little bit on the ambitious side here. Oh, there we go. So it bites into the boat. Now I can grab the boat. Dude! So yeah, it bit a hole in the side of it. That looks amazing. Do we actually have a hold of it? Hold on, let's stop firing. Okay, do we have a hold of it? We do! I'm pulling it! Uh, it's not very fast because that's a pretty heavy ship, but I'm actually pulling it back. I'm pulling it out to sea! We're gonna go eat everybody on it. Actually, we could probably break this thing in half. Uh-oh! Oh! The sails are poking into its rib cage. Okay. Uh, you know, we could push it back forward. No, I don't want to put it on the land here. Alright, let's try to... Let's try to get out of this little predicament here. The boat is crushing the monster! 
That is insane looking. All right, it's taking me way too long to get free. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna push back into it, ram it. Oh, that is cool. Okay, do we have something we can grab onto? I think the bottom piece, actually, we need to back off a bit. Ooh, we might be able to flip it here. I think the only thing that's saving this ship right now is actually its sails. So let's see if we can separate those. Go and start eating into it here. Okay, we're gonna chomp down on it. There we go, push into it. Ah, oh, that is cool. All right, we got a hold of it again. Nope, never mind. All right, let's try to break it up a bit. So we're gonna go for right in the middle there. If we can kind of chomp a hole there, I feel like we can break this thing in half. All right, sails have been blown off. Let's go ahead and go for the middle part of the ship. I'm gonna try to grab it. I'd like to pull it back out here, so we'll try to latch onto it there. I think the top just hooked in, so nope, still can't get a hold of it. It's gonna take me a second. I gotta make more of a hole in it, and then I can hope that the, a part of the jaw actually goes down in it. There we go, we've gotten a hold of the ship. We're not letting it go out of our grasp. Are we breaking through? Yes, we are. Dude, this is a mess. This is gonna start to lag really quick. <laughs> All right, we're trying to push it under here. Um, we're gonna push it up against the bridge here and just try to rip through it. And boom. <laughs> can we twist this thing around? I think we can. So what happens when I, uh, what happens when I twist my head here? Oh, it's twisting the body. It's like doing one of those alligator death rolls right now, or it's attempting to. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. Are we supposed to flip ourselves over like that? Uh, hold on. Release. All right. Uh, you know, I guess this does work like this. Its head completely turns over. Oh, it's frightening looking. All right, we're going in. We're going to try to bite it in half here. Oh, there we go. We just bit it in half. Oh, that was cool. All right, let's grab this portion here. There we go, finishing it off here. We just took another huge bite. Ooh, we got a hold of it good that time. I think we got it by the railing. Oh, that's awesome. We got it hooked in. And I'm not sure anybody made it out of the Constitution there. I'm pretty sure we uh, we just completely annihilated it. Uh, let's go ahead and cease fire. There we go. So it's not every day you can say that. We just sunk a ship in scrap mechanic using some sort of mechanical beast. Dude, look at that. Look at the cut there. We almost cut it, I would say almost right in half. I think we're a little bit more towards the back, but still, nonetheless, that is an impressive creation. Uh, be sure to check that out in the description. All right, so we have one last question to ask. Can we defeat the beast? Can the beast be taken down? Huh. Oh boy, it can be. Yeah, all this can be destroyed. This whole thing, I think, can be destroyed. You know what? I feel like we need to bring out the heavy artillery. Uh, where's the best place to do this? Maybe up there. We're gonna try to take down the beast. Alright, folks, we have one last line of defense here. We're gonna get in the spudlin' gun by Scrapman. And we are gonna have to try to annihilate the sea creature. Might have to zoom in a little bit for you guys to see this, but here we go. Uh, oh, that is laggy. That, oh, we might crash the game here. Uh, come on. Defeat the sea creature. Oh, they are nailing it right now. They are nailing I'm waiting for some big chunks to fly into the water. We'll know we defeated it then. Oh. Oh, I'm seeing pieces fall off. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, ceasefire. Okay. Let's go check the damage. Oh, look at the carnage down below. Oh, parts of that are the creature. <laughs> oh, is it firing back? Why did we just get shot at? Oh, that is messy looking. Wow. Oh, we ripped the, the cage, like the rib cage off of it. You know, I think some of those parts aren't destructible, I want to say. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of a creature down here. Also, half of a ship is down here, too. Those are uh, awesome creations there, I must say. All right, I think it's probably time we move away from the carnage here and move on to the next one. Okay, so for our next creation here, we are back on the land. Uh, we kind of got away from the sea just a little bit here. And we have a Bugatti, but this is no normal Bugatti. This is a hover Bugatti. This is by Lady Skelebro69. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite builders, uh, especially in terms of flying creations. These things are absolutely amazing. So... 
This is pretty sweet looking. Like, that is uh, legit. Hold on, let's check out the spider web. Okay, I'm seeing these thruster clusters with the, uh, okay, you got the sensors there. Uh, okay, ooh, this looks really cool in the back. Like that a lot. All right, how do we get in? Is that a switch right there? Oh, there's your roof hatch. Okay, let's get down. Oh, is this a single seater? Ooh, buttons. All right, what button did I click to close this thing again? I guess it's probably one of the buttons that's actually built in. Let's go ahead and get into the cockpit. That is pretty cool looking. Wow, it's all compact. I'd like to have one of these, even though I'd probably wrap it around a tree. All right, let's go ahead and go one. No. Uh, two. Okay, there's two. Was one the lights, possibly? Okay, no, it lights up the, uh, the little logo there, which actually, oddly enough, looks kind of like a dog nose and a tongue. All right, three. That's your Ford. Okay, four. There's your hover. Okay, and then five is... What the... What is that? Is that the spoiler? Does that actually adjust? That's probably the wing mod, is it not? Okay, so it's AD turning. Oh, that is cool. All right, let's go. Here we go. Oh, wrong button. Here, oh, wrong button. Here we go. <laughs> Took me a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was that burst of speed there it just got? You know, we should probably really do this on a flat world. This was not wise of Komodo here to go, hey, we can totally do this on a, uh, terrain world. All right, here we go. Burst of speed. Oh, we got to get that spoiler up. We need that downforce. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's pretty fast. That's really fast. That's too fast. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, you know what? I know what we need. We do not need to be on a terrain world right now. I need to go get one of those fancy tiles that has a futuristic racetrack on it. That way we can actually, uh, we can do this without wrapping around a tree every five seconds. All right, we are back in a coliseum of speed and death. Uh, we have, wow, I, I don't even know what to say right now. This is probably one of the biggest racetracks I've ever seen. This is extreme. Uh, we're gonna try the Bugatti out here. I, this might have been a mistake. I'm not really sure. I hope it can handle it. I'm gonna say it can because I have a lot of faith in Lady Skelebro, but it's not his fault if this doesn't work because this is a big test here. Alright, folks, we are ready to go. Let's strap in here. Oh, boy. Okay, alright, we're already moving. I'm just trying to get a feel for things here. Alright, so let's go ahead and start to float. Oh, this was a mistake! Oh, this was dumb. This was dumb. We've made it, like, what? A foot? A couple feet? Oh, jeez. Alright. That was, uh, spectacular. Hold on, let's, uh, let's try that again. All right, here we go. We're trying this once again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's not how that's supposed to work, I don't think. Hold on, turn it. Turn it. Oh, what's happening here? Hold on. Oh, and we might be able to get back on the track. No, 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 no. This was a dumb idea. Why did I think this was going to work? Oh. oh, this is a cool creation. This is not meant for that. You know, luckily, I, I did place another tile in this world. I would like to actually make a car that can make that. I think it's going to actually need to be a car with a bunch of downforce thrusters. I'm not sure the hovering can actually stick to a surface like that. Oh, uh, I don't think this is supposed to work like this, but I'm actually getting around pretty well, actually. All right, so there's another uh, tile that I spawned in. It's over here to this side. Uh, it is actually a NASCAR track. It's banked. Uh, this might be a little too big for it, but you, you never know. That might be a place to test this. Uh, we're doing actually a pretty decent job right now. <laughs> Oddly enough. Alright, so we have a NASCAR track. What kind of banking is that? That is extreme. Oh, that is so steep right in the middle. This is gonna work, or probably not. Uh, there's no catch fence either, so if we fly out of the track, we fly out of the track. Alright. Last attempt with me and the Bugatti here. If not, we might try something else out on this track. I've got a couple other uh, wheeled creations. Let's go ahead and go boom. Hop into here. Let's go boom. All right. Uh, get some speed. We're going the wrong way for NASCAR, by the way. Uh, are those Mario power-ups? Oh, this thing. Yeah, it just it bounces. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it's erupting. Oh, it sounds like a... What is going on? Are we about to take off or something? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, let's just delete some things here and get out of this. 
All right, so for our next creation, this is probably something that we're going to be able to take on the NASCAR track here. This is a ground racer by Garbuckle3000. Must say, looks uh, very future-like. Looks actually really ridiculous. And I mean that in a good way, not in a bad way at all. Like, that is... That's cool. Is that a pretty... It's actually a pretty basic suspension setup. Looks like it's using a uh, controller turning, uh, double bearings, at least there, but it's normal steering in the front. Okay, you got my attention. How does this exactly work? There's your lights. Ooh, that is fast. Oh, it's those electric motors. Wow. That's actually quite impressive. Hold on, does it handle bumps? Oh! <laughs> Okay, we have to be a little bit more light on the bumps. Very cool looking racer. I would uh, probably suggest the roll cage being a little bit higher because if you tip over, you're going to scalp yourself. Uh, but other than that, very fantastic. Now, question is, how do we get onto this track? Like, the pit road and everything's blocked. Okay, actually, is this an opening seat? No, they got, like, Mario barricades over here. Uh, let's go over this side. Can we drive through a garage? Oh, please tell me you can. Okay, there we go. Uh... You know, I'm not really sure that we're going to fit through this, folks. Uh, let's try this. Ooh, oh, oh, tight squeeze. Might need to get a little bit of butter out. All right, so we have future NASCAR racing, eight-wheel beast. You know what's really odd? It doesn't even look like the wheels are spinning that fast. But they've got to be. I mean, we're actually traveling pretty good here. And Dude, this thing just grips the banking. There is no uh, downforce thrusters on this. It's strictly, at least I don't think there is. Yeah, it's just strictly uh, just hanging on here. It's like clinched onto the banking. You know, we had an old NASCAR build a while back, and I kind of wish that we would pull out one of those cars. I don't even know if I still have those cars. That was on my old computer. Might have to drag those out one day and test it on this, uh, because if it's a tile or a terrain asset, it's not bumpy like the NASCAR track used to be. Like, this is smooth. I almost argue you could have some NASCAR races here. It'd be kind of cool to actually see that in Scrap Mechanic. All right, that's pretty good. I do want to go ahead and let's crank this up to 10 real quick and just see what happens. Uh, this might explode on... Oh! <laughs> Wait, how did I call that? Why? Why does that do that, Han? Okay, here we go. Hit the gas and... <laughs> oh. Breaking Scrap Mechanic... One step at a time. All right, I kind of now understand why you only had that set up to halfway. What if we go, like, maybe there? Just a little bit faster. Uh, let's go. Come on, you're going to go. Let's go down about about there. There we go. That seems safe, right? We could totally do this. All right, here we go. One more time. All right. Nope. Oh, he had it set at the perfect speed. Now it hops. It's got to be just how those uh, tires front to back grip. It's like the backs take off, they lift the front, and it does just like a bunny hop. Okay, so note yourself, he had it at the max speed. Like, yeah, this is, oh, this is not working at all for me anymore. We've done it, folks. We've broken it. Oh, boy. All right, folks, we're going to attempt it one more time. We're going for the big track. Uh, we're going to use this, even though I think it needs some downforce thrusters uh, to actually stick to some of the vertical parts. I don't know. It feels grippy for some reason. Like, it feels like we could just drive up this. Can we not? Like, dude. Dude! Wait. Wait a minute. There is some sort of either thruster or aerodynamic piece on this. Uh, that should not have taken off like that. Okay, so... Now I gotta feel. I think we can actually do this course. Let's go and set it back on here and take off. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and get a little bit on the banking here. Actually, we need to be down here for the jump. This is a tricky course. Like, how how the heck would you make any speed here? Yeah, I can just picture trying to go fast and just flying off everything. Okay, let's go over the hill. Oh, that thing. It's almost like it floats a little bit. You know, does that have a wing block on it? Maybe that's what it is. I'm not really sure. I've never seen a creation float. Now, here's the true question. Can we actually make it up the loop? It could all end here, folks. This could be it. Come on. Come on, Grower Buckle. I have faith in you. I have faith that we can do this. Why is this working? Why is this working? Why is this working? Oh! Oh, no! No, no, no! No, no! No! Wait, it rotates itself in the air? Oh, no! 
No, it's all gone wrong. Come on, get attached to something. Attached to something. Oh, we're flying through the air. I can't see where I'm going. No, 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 go that way, go that way. How can you control this thing in air like that? Um, it's almost like the rotational force of the tires. It's like keeping it flipping, depending on if you're going forward or backwards. Uh, okay. Well, maybe Komodo just isn't cut out for the big track. Maybe Komodo needs to be disappointed in himself. Definitely not the creation, though. This is probably one of the funnest little creations that I've played with in a while. Like, I'm just enjoying just driving it around and seeing what it can run over. Very cool stuff here. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. I did uh, spend a little bit more time than I thought I would on a couple of these creations, so I'm not going to pull anything else out here today. But like I said, if you want to send something over, you can do it by the Discord. We have a little section there where you can send creations, and maybe I'll check them out and feature them in an episode. Oh, there's one more little ramp we can get up here. We might as well go ahead and try it real quick. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on Scrap Mechanic. I still want to do a build of some sorts. I've been trying to get uh, the underwater base running. Like, I really wanted to do, like, a one-year anniversary of that because it's really hard to believe that it's been one year since that base has come out, and I wanted to check it out. Like, I would really ideally like to have the buoyancy mod with it because I could picture having ships up above where the above-ground stuff was, and then we can go below ground and actually go to the base. So hopefully I can figure out something. If not, maybe we'll have to do an underwater base 2.0. You never know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to tune in to Multiplayer Monday, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.